guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the first video of 2018. I'm so excited. I cannot believe, I know everyone says it, but I cannot believe the year has went by so quickly, or 2017, this year, I feel like it's already going by quickly too. But um, I wanted to share with you guys today my best of 2017. I'm just gonna put makeup and skincare all together. So um, get a cup of coffee, because this might be a long video, but I hope that you find this helpful and uh, maybe you'll find something that will work for you and be your best of 2018. So also remember, if you like these types of videos, to click that red subscribe button down below. I'm gonna be posting a video for you every week focused on style, fashion, beauty, also sprinkled in with some lifestyle, maybe some mama bits to help you out uh, for all those moms out there. Uh, first time mom myself here. But uh, yeah, so remember to give me a thumbs up and to follow me on Instagram at Tabitha Faith and my Facebook page, Tabitha Faith as well. So um, let's get into the best of 2017. So I'm gonna to try to go in a type of order, um, no guarantees, but I'm gonna start with skincare and I'm gonna start with uh, best face wash. So I actually do a double step cleanser. I do um, cleansing process, I do the oil, uh, a cleansing oil to get to break off my break up my makeup to get it completely off, take that off with a warm washcloth, and then I go in with a cleanser. However, the oil I'm using I like, but it's not like rocking my socks, so it definitely, to me, does not um, merit being in a best of 2017 video, so we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about it. We are gonna talk about my cleanser, however. Um, let me grab these. Okay, so I've been using the Drunk Elephant uh, Peaky Cleanser at night and the Juju in the morning. I don't cleanse my face every morning. Uh, I did a post on this that I will link for you down below. Um, but I usually just use this if I've used an exfoliator the night before, like a chemical exfoliant, or if um, maybe I woke, I've woken up and immediately worked out and I'm sweaty. Um, there are so many opinions on whether you should not cleanse your face in the morning or you should just, um, or you just splash it with water or if you should fully just do your morning cleanse like normal. Um, I'm not sure where I sit with that. I find that if I cleanse my face every single morning, my skin does get dry even if I use cleansers that are made for dry, sensitive skin. Um, my face just, just, my skin just doesn't like to be cleaned cleaned. <laughs> my skin just doesn't like to be uh, cleansed with like a full-on cleanser twice a day. So you you take what you will from that. But I do like these guys. Obviously, um, like I said, I've used this one more than this one. So it's a little smaller. This is actually the Travel Duo um, and it's been lasting for a really long time. So I've had the full version of this and it's like quite large and lasts for forever. But you do need, do not judge this because um, this is really grubby. You do need yourself a soap holder um, for them to like dry out on. So do not leave this just sitting like on your bathroom counter or in your shower because it will go away so quickly and it will get really nasty. So make sure you get yourself a soap holder. My favorite facial serum of 2017 has to be the Kills Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Um, I got this in the beginning of, year, of the year when I was still pregnant and my skin was doing craziness and this really helped just kind of mellow things out um, and I woke up looking refreshed and glowy and then after pregnancy when my skin changed again, this has been amazing. I literally have like two or three more uses out of this and I've got to get a new bottle. Um, this is like one of those things that if my skin is being wonky, I can always go back to and know that it is fantastic. So you should check this out. My favorite facial oil is... So my favorite facial oil will probably be, no surprise, I dedicated an entire blog post to this that I will link down below for you guys, but it is the Ordinary 100% uh, Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. This stuff is so fantastic. I love it so much. Um, I feel like I want to like slather it all over my face, all over my body because it's amazing. And at $8 a bottle, um, you can kind of afford to do that because that's ridiculously affordable for an organic um, facial oil. I really can't sing this guy's praises enough. So best moisturizer of 2017 has to go to the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Um, this is like the best moisturizer every single year for me really because uh, it's really, really hydrating, but not thick and heavy. Um, and it is really good for sensitive skin. 
like for real. I have a friend who has completely opposite skin to me. So I have very dry, sensitive skin, and she has more oily, acne prone skin. And we both use this and we both love this. So it's very versatile, and I just cannot recommend this enough. It is fantastic. I don't like the pot. That is the only thing. The tub, excuse me. Um, it comes in a big old tub that you have to dig your finger into. And to me, that is just not very hygienic. But I do dig my finger like backwards. So it's not, I don't know. I wash my hands before I do it. I try to keep it as hygienic as possible. They make it in a small squeezy tube and a really large squeezy tube. Um, but I really like like this amount of product. I, it lasts for a very long time. So first aid beauty, make this ounce wise in a squeezy tube. My favorite sunscreen is not gonna be a surprise at all because I've lived at the sunscreen, I wanna say for three years now, two years, I don't know. But I went through so many tubes of this, but well, actually not so many because this will last for pretty much an entire year, this whole bottle, it's perfect. It is the Drunk Elephant Umbra Sheer Physical Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense Cream. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, I have said this before, but this is fantastic for dry skin. It is a physical, obviously in the name, physical uh, sunscreen. It does not leave a white cast. Any reviews that say it leaves a white cast, do not massage it into the face long enough. I'm sorry, unless you, I mean, unless you have incredibly um, like dark ebony skin. I have not seen someone with darker skin, that dark of skin, use this. Um, so I can't speak on their behalf, but anyone else I've tried this on, if you rub it in long enough like you're supposed to, um, the white cast fades. It's really more of a lotion consistency, so if you have super oily skin, you're not going to like this, but this is fantastic, and I, this is my absolute holy grail sunscreen. So last of uh, Best of 2017 skincare is my favorite mask, and that is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. Um, this is the small version, which is still expensive. This is like 24 bucks for this tiny guy, um, but you only need a tiny little bit, and it is fantastic. Use this in the morning before you, um, like right after you cleanse your skin. Then wait like just a second um, before you like continue on do your full on skincare routine after you do this, but don't put your makeup on right after because it does maybe leave you leave your face. Fa it does maybe leave your face a tiny bit red, um, but it really does the trick and I love it and it is still gentle for sensitive skin. All right, let's move on to the makeup portion, which is. I don't know what's my favorite, skincare or makeup. Probably skincare, to be honest. I don't know. Because skincare, I love like making the face look um, bright and glowy and all that jazz. And then but makeup is like painting. Um, you know, anyways, moving on. The best of skincare for 2017. Let's talk foundation uh, or base, whatever. I've got two products for you. One um, is more of a BB cream, CC cream, tinted moisturizer, blah, blah, blah. The other one is a legit foundation. Even though it says it's a CC cream, don't be fooled. Um, it is a foundation. So first off is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I've loved this for for years now, but I still can't get away from it. I'm trying out the Glossier. Um, cha, cha, cha. What is it? Glossier Skin Tint, maybe? Yeah, that one. I'm trying that out right now. It may be what I'm wearing on my face today. Um, and I'm comparing it to this because this has been my like OG. Um, but we'll see. I'm gonna do a review on all the Glossier products I'm trying right now um, later. So I'm not gonna talk about them too much. Anyways, this is gorgeous. I love that they came out with the shade between one and two, which is 1.5 Birch. It's my perfect shade. Summer, winter, fall, spring, whatever. Um, this is fantastic. It is moisturizing. I love it. I love it. I love it. Go to. Absolute go to. But if I want more coverage, I'll go for the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I have the shade Fair. I feel like they only have like four shades, which is not great. So Fair works for me. Um, and this, though it says it's a CC cream, is really high coverage. Um, it can be built up. I wouldn't say to absolute full. I don't know. This is really high coverage for me because I actually like to let my skin show through, to let freckles show. Uh, I really enjoy a fresh look. So this is what I use for a high coverage foundation. To me, it is not like crazy dewy. It is more on the dewy side, but like satin dewy. 
that good explanation for you? Um, I wear it a lot in videos and uh, I wear it a lot for pictures because it is just a really beautiful still skin like finish but with some good coverage um, and you should definitely check this out. So I know I said I wasn't going to talk about Glossier right now um, because I'm doing a big review of a lot of their products coming up soon but best Concealer has to go to the Stretch Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light. It is a pot concealer with a beautiful dewy finish. Um, you just need to try it to figure out if you like it or not, which is the story of everything. I don't even know why I'm saying that, but it really is good. It is light coverage, but it can be full coverage. And I'm gonna tell you my tricks, tips and tricks to that coming up. But um, I just, I love it. To me, the formula is pretty, pretty extraordinary. Like I haven't found something that was quite like this before. Um, and I just, I love it. For blush, it has to go to the Physician's Formula Butter Blush in the shade Natural Glow. This is so beautiful. It smells like coconuts or suntan lotion, whatever. And this is a really, it says Natural Glow and that's what it does. I mean, it was a, it was a really simple, like great name because it, it told you exactly what it does. Um, I wear this pretty much every single day and I, I love it, which is why it's in this video. All right, if we need a little contouring going on, uh, the winner has got to be Makeup For, nope, not Forever, Makeup Geek uh, Contouring Powder in Breakup. It's the Cool Porcelain shade. Um, this is the only contour shade I use because it's perfect and it's $10 really what more can you ask i have the cool which doesn't make you look muddy sometimes cool shades can be a little too brownie um like muddy brown um but this one is not and i love it i just popped it into a z palette i have and i'm really interested in trying the warm shade as well so we'll see how that goes um for 2018. for bronzer it has to be the tarte park avenue princess bronzer this is so beautiful i love it so much it is a shimmery bronzer but it doesn't have flex um, it just really, when I say shimmery, it makes you look healthy and glowing, but not like overly done whatsoever. It's very natural. I love it so much. I'm wearing it today. And um, I had like the tiny Ipsy version um, of a sample of this. And as soon as that ran out, I went and bought the big guy because I just can't live my life without this now. If you're sensing a theme in the makeup, it is because I do like a fresh, natural face. I really do. I love going all glam, but like every day, I'm just not that person who's going to put on like this much, like this much of makeup every day. And I don't want to because I like once again, I like my skin to show, and I like to look more natural and fresh, which is what I said. So um, for highlighter, I love. The Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. It is ridiculously um, affordable because I think it's like three bucks and it is beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, when you look at it in the pan and when you swatch it, it doesn't look like anything, but it is gorgeous on the face and you should definitely try this one out. You just can't go wrong with this. So we're winding it down with some eye products. Now, I don't have a favorite eyeshadow or eye palette of the year. Um, I've been using the Lorac Pro 2 palette a lot, but it's nothing I don't feel like I could like live without. So I just don't wanna, you know, really put it in here if it's not my absolute favorite. But I do have some other favorite eye products. Um, for brows, I was using two different ones. On the everyday basis, I was using the Maybelline um, Pro Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara in Deep Brown. This is fantastic. The wand absolutely sucks, um, but if they could come out with this with a better wand, it would like top um, higher end products, like no problem. If I really wanted to like draw on some brows, this is the best brow pencil. I've not tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil, but I feel like this takes the cake. First of all, the packaging is fantastic. Um, and it is the benefit precisely my brow pencil. I have the shade four and this is fantastic. So for eyeliner, when I'm doing a winged eye, it's gonna be the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. This is fantastic. It stays on all day. It goes on perfectly dark black and it is just wonderful. It literally, like I have the worst look with um, pretty much all other liquid liners. They just run and cake all over my face, but this guy, he does not, and that's why I love him oh so much, and I, re I repurchase him every single time it runs out, without fail. Without fail. Mascara! 
not, I love mascara. Like if I could only have like a few makeup products in my bag, mascara would definitely be one of them because my eyes are so small that I don't wear mascara. Um, you really can't see my eyes at all. So it helps to lift and brighten my eyes. But this was like a more, like a closer to the end of the year discovery. So someone woke up from his nap in the middle of filming, but he's going to join me for my little outro. Can you do my outro with me, buddy? Can you do my outro with me? You think you can do it with me? So guys, that's the end of my best of 2017 video. I hope you have found this helpful. So remember, all products will be listed down below, including um, everything I have on my face right now and whatever I'm wearing. So um, remember to check down there for all your product info. And remember to click that red subscribe button down below so that you can follow along and be part of the Tap of the Faith tribe. Um, but until next time, guys, we're going to say goodbye, aren't we? We're going to say bye. This is so beautiful. And I'm really interested in trying the warm shade. Um, that sounds. <laughs> <laughs>